going to be an intriguing pick. I think it's what it's going to be. Uh, they certainly need a receiver. And although the big guy, Andy Reid, he went out to see With Freddie the Mitchell the pick. Like a week ago, okay? He liked the Philadelphia him. Eagles he have like selected him. wide receiver from UCLA, Freddie Mitchell. Now, this is an interesting pick. We're going to talk here, and then I want to get on the whole AFC West with Billy. Philadelphia is a team now that in this is the third year that Andy Reid's been head coach and Mo Drack running the draft, but they draft Donovan McNabb to Booze here two years ago, and Booze would be the understatement. The Philly fans who have no problem booing uh, the Easter Bunny and uh, Santa Claus, <laughs> I mean, there was no problem booing the, uh, the pick of Donovan McNabb here. Then the season starts and Peterson starts and they're they're booing Andy for not starting McNabb. So they went 180 before the before uh, the season began. All right. Let's put that aside. Donovan McNabb has become a fast riser as quarterback and a Pro Bowl quarterback. Last year in the first round, albeit very high again, Corey Simon, two home runs, I would say to this point by the Eagles who are drafting down here for the first time in a while. Now with Freddie Mitchell, a guy at UCLA who scares off some because of the way he might carry himself, shall we say. He doesn't lack of confidence, but Andy Reid personally, quote, gave the front office a couple days off a week and a half ago, and he went out to see him and made the decision on his own. When you look at it, Freddie Mitchell really, I think, is one of the most confident players in this draft. He believes he should have been the first receiver taken. He believes he can dominate any cornerback in America and in the NFL, and that's what you need at the pro level. You can't shy away from that type of pressure. You have to be aggressive. He goes and gets the football. Everybody said, well, he's quick, he's not fast. Well, he went to the combine workout, and he ran. Some players don't. Freddie did. And Billy Devaney, he ran a 4-4-4. And if everybody said, hey, he's fast-talking Freddie Mitchell, now he's just fast Freddie Mitchell. And I think that 4-4-4 established Freddie Mitchell as a clear and, and no question about it, mid to late first round. No question, Mel. And, and I think that the talking part of Freddie Mitchell, there's there's two kind. If you come across as a jerk and, and, and kind of a low life, if you will, that's one kind of guy. If you're just cocky and brash and you can back it up like Freddie Mitchell, people don't really get down on that kind of trash talking. So I look at that as a positive out of, out of a guy. And if Freddie Mitchell, even if he doesn't catch a pass in the league, it's already going to be noted for the greatest quote going into the combine when said that when people talk about the combine beating, being a meat market, then I'm the filet mignon. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so the Eagles get, get an offensive. And then, by the way, they think, although they don't know it's a unique injury with Deuce Daly, they think that the foot injury is coming along well, and they can only hope so because you can only mask a lack of a of a, of a big time runner for so long but they certainly did that well and now with Freddie Mitchell Andy Reid would have preferred to go a bigger guy and not a receiver first time the Eagles have gone receiver first round since uh, Kenny Jackson at 84 I mean that's a long time ago we'll talk more about the Eagles who are clearly a team on the rise and intriguing as heck